This video explains how to link the whole tone scale to half of our important intervals. First of all, you want to know that there are only two whole tone scales. One of these whole tone scales uses three black keys and it sounds like this. The other whole tone scale uses the other two black keys and it sounds like this. The second whole tone scale sounds exactly like the first one, except it is transposed a bit higher. Let's play both these whole tone scales again, but this time let's play the first note of each scale every time. We want to get to some important intervals, and let's call these intervals the whole tone intervals. Now, let's examine those intervals in the first whole tone scale one by one. First, we start off with a tone, and I'm going to use a picture of a unicycle. Then we have two tones, which I call a bitone. This will have two wheels like a bicycle. Then there are three tones, universally called a tritone. It will have three wheels like a tricycle. Next is four tones, which I like to call a quad. It will have four wheels. Then we come to five tones. We see this interval most of all in dominant seven chords. It will have five wheels. We can actually call it a dominant seventh interval regardless of its spelling. And finally, we have the octave, which is six tones. Let's use two tricycles for the octave. So far, the whole tone scale has given us six of our 12 important intervals. This turns out to be a very good method to master intervals, because if we understand these six intervals, then we can study the other six intervals later as non-whole tone intervals. Now it's time for my favorite part of every video, the rabbit hole. I'm going to try to show you how all of these intervals linked to dominant seven chords. There are three ways to turn a tone into a dominant seventh chord. There are also three ways to turn a bitone into a dominant seventh chord. There are four ways to turn a tritone into a dominant seventh chord. There is only one way to turn a quad into a dominant seventh chord. The dominant seventh interval is the captain obvious interval for making a dominant seventh chord, and there is only one way to do it. The dominant seventh interval is the captain obvious interval for making a dominant seventh chord, and there is only one way to do it. Finally, the octave easily turns into a dominant seventh chord, and it can do it in four completely different ways. So here you have it, and I think this dominant seventh idea is very important. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave me comments about anything you like, anything you'd like to see in the future, and remember that I consider all suggestions.